Whoa, what's that? Today's video is titled, When Keeping It Blue Goes Wrong. Now, if you new here, what we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break it down. Sometimes you may hear or see comedy. In no way are we trying to laugh at the current state of the black man, people. We simply use relatable comedy to convey a message. You understand me? You are witnessing a rebel network. The trial of three officers accused of assaulting their colleagues ends with no convictions. The case surrounding the arrest of undercover officer Luther Hall may be over for now, but friends of the former officer say it was far from a victory. Yep, you guessed it. Another trial involving anti-black hate that ends in a non-conviction, as to be expected in America. But if you expect the same old song and dance from Block Talk News, prepare to be sadly mistaken. Today we gonna focus on how putting blue over black can be deadly. Matter of fact, putting anything over black, you know, like your job, you know, you Walmart over black, security over black, executive over black, church over black, whatever you put before black, can be really deadly and of course y'all know we're gonna explore all of these propaganda tactics y'all you are witnessing the rebel network three officers accused of assaulting their colleagues ends and of course the first words from mr charlie the propagandist is a complete lie he said three officers was accused of assaulting they colleague people the lie detector test determined that's a lie. Nobody was charged with assault to an officer in the case of Luther Hall, even though we looking directly at him on swole. You understand me? And in America, this is considered a verdict, y'all. We looking at a man beaten half to death, but this is considered a verdict, y'all. A verdict. Yeah. Verdict? A man takes a hammer and bashes in the back of his own head? That's what Mr. Charlie the Propagandist would like you to believe. After directly lying to our face, he proceeded to say, Friends of the former officers say it was far from a victory. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Can somebody tell friends of Luther Hall that a verdict of zero convictions out of a possible three convictions is not only far away from a victory, but a lopsided loss to be exact? But what's the angle of Mr. Charlie, y'all? And y'all know what it is. It's pacification, trying to have you think that it's not over yet. They can still fight it. Knowing that this case been happening, y'all, in 2017, all these people use its tactics. And this one is clearly the stall tactic. But y'all know what it is. It's complex. I think it's more complex than that. More complex than that. Yeah, more complex than that. To understand who the propagandist is, you got to understand the case before and after people. Now let's take a look at a report from CBSN before the case ended in a non-conviction. So Luther Hall is a St. Louis police officer. He is African-American. He was assigned that night as a detective to work undercover. So there were protests that evening. He was there not, he says, to monitor the protesters, but to gather evidence of potential crime. So if there was property damage or people who were looking to harm others, he was there blending in with the protesters. You are witnessing a rebel network. Luther Hall was supposedly there to gather evidence, y'all, for potential crimes. Like people who going to potentially harm property, y'all. People who going to potentially harm others. He looking for crimes of the future. He Tom Cruise, y'all. He doing minority reports. He ain't there just to monitor protesters. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever you catch somebody red-handed and they repeat a slogan like, it's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. If they say I wasn't, they really was. And if they say something like, now nah, I know it looks like, but it's exactly what it looks like and ain't no buts about it. But that's just my opinion. That's just my logic. And usually y'all already know that my logic is irrefutable. But riddle me this, how can you gather evidence of property damage without monitoring the property or the potential threat to the property? Make that make sense, y'all. And while you at it, riddle me this. If people united for a cause, they not coming there to hurt each other. So who is the others, y'all? 
who are the others? Could it be them groups who actually went to the Capitol and harmed people? Nah, they not that crazy because if the protests have any potential for violence, they will not be showing up and you know this. So who are the others? Is it these people, the police, who arrive with pounds of tactical gear, guns, rubber bullets, real bullets, stun guns, tasers, batons, flash bombs, urban riot tanks, and pepper spray. Could that be the people that loot the hall out here monitoring y'all? Could that be them? Of course not. But Luther Hall should have been looking at them. But of course, he's too blue to see that he was simply a dog in a duck hunt. He was sent there to make all the ducks fly irrationally. That way they can be eliminated by the long arm of the law. Think about it, y'all. He was just like Vernon. Vernon got along with all of the people he worked with, which in his heart of hearts made him feel like an Uncle Tom. But that was his heart of heart of hearts because he still ended up in a situation of when keeping it blue goes wrong. Come on, cameraman. Hey, turn the camera towards me. I got this police chasing me and I ain't even doing nothing, you heard me? Point the camera to him. He right there, man. I ain't even doing nothing, you hear me? It's crazy, bro. Come on, walk with me. Walk with me. Yeah, they said, they said, go. Hey, go. Now this might just be me, but it seemed like the police have a jump on the position of the protesters no matter where they stop, y'all. No matter how hard they breathe, no matter how hard they sweating, seem like we always see the police drive on up. AC blaring. They don't have not a touch of sweat on their forehead. To me, y'all, it gives the suspicion that Luther Hall was giving up the position of the protesters no matter where they stop, y'all. But that might just be me. But I know you, so let's talk Talk about what you probably doing right now and understand I'm not talking about all of y'all this how some of y'all think this how some of y'all react you're probably sitting up there laughing about how the man said I ain't even doing nothing or you probably got a joke about the clothes he got on because you know how we always got a joke everybody Chris Tucker these days but after you done channeling your inner child I'm gonna need you to grasp the seriousness of the fact that that's a grown man that's a grown ass man y'all in absolute fear for his life that dude sweating profusely his heart beating rapidly you can tell he gasping for oxygen yet he's still trying to tell you his truth trying to tell you exactly what's going on in the situation that he find himself caught up in y'all understand me bro you finished laughing now and understand it ain't all of y'all, this some of y'all, so don't comment with the dumb shit this ain't all of y'all, this how some of y'all think you understand me and smart people already understand symbolically the fear displayed by this man mirror the majority of blacks on the planet earth regardless of race or wealth nationality or sexuality y'all they have you running fast as hell and you know i'm telling the truth because you gotta work twice as hard to advance i don't care if you the dishwasher trying to be the cook you the dishwasher trying to be the manager or you're a lawyer who trying to make partner you know i'm telling the truth that you gotta work twice as hard they want you to do everything they say you are witnessing a rebel network you want advance? Get our education. Conform. You want a job? Dress like us. Talk like us. Conform. Give your consent and trust to your government in the form of voting. Obey. Listen to your mainstream media appointed by your government. Obey. Fight in our wars. Join our military. Die. And I'm supposed to accept that, huh? I'm supposed to accept that in silence. That's what y'all telling me? Oh. 
No, I don't accept that. Ever. You are witnessing a rebel network. As the three defendants left the federal courthouse, they were silent, but their attorneys were not. We're ecstatic that uh, he can return to the St. Louis City Police Department if he so chooses, and he can remain a uh, person with a reputation intact. Oh, do you hear that? They ecstatic, friends of Luther Hall. The lawyers walking out the courtroom, ecstatic, friends of Luther Hall, who up there talking about fall from a victory. Yes, it's very far from a victory. It's a lopsided loss, you loser. But look at these people. They walking out the courtroom talking about the dude reputation gonna remain intact, y'all. We just now saw them harass and assault not only an officer, but regular citizens who they sworn to protect but his reputation gonna remain intact y'all and he said he can return to the police department if he feel like it flexing look if i won't go back i could go back on him after beating y'all up and beating up a man of the blue god damn it a man of the blue line as they call it remember well blue lives matter y'all you are witnessing a rebel network there were no convictions for the officers accused of assaulting luther hall but it wasn't a complete acquittal either. And I know you like, yeah, yeah, we heard, no convictions. But pay attention to how slickly Mr. Charlie the Propagandist went on to say. But it wasn't a complete acquittal either. Y'all heard that boy, Mr. Charlie the Propagandist? It wasn't a full acquittal either. Now, y'all, that's a two-edged swall. Because for the protesters, you probably thinking, oh, we might still get justice. Man, we still fighting for justice right now. But on the other hand, he propping up the supremacists. He's sitting up there saying, man, hold on. It, it wasn't a full acquittal either. Like, how we ain't get a full acquittal either? Pay attention, y'all. Listen to him again. But it wasn't a complete acquittal either. Yeah, y'all feel me on that one, right? But on BTN, we get y'all to ask the question of why Mr. Charlie even posing the question of why there was no acquittals. Why is he worried about why there was no acquittals instead of worried about why there was no convictions? Why were there no convictions when you looking at a man on the screen clearly bruised and beaten half to death, y'all? That's what Mr. Charlie not saying, you dig? But let's get to the charges and break them down. Jurors found Officer Stephen Cordy, still with SLMPD, not guilty on both charges of deprivation of civil rights and lying to the FBI. Now these charges are clearly criminally hilarious, y'all. Deprivation of civil rights, let's define that. That means they deprived them of the right to protest without being beaten upside the head, y'all. Now check out how uh, Mr. Charlie the Propagandist worded the next charge, y'all. Check out the wording. Lying to the FBI, lying to the FBI, lying to the FBI. Yeah, y'all understand why they say lying to the FBI. It was for public perception. They put a quick little cushion on it for dominant society. But if it was me or any other black person, the first thing you would have heard was this. Block Talk News was arrested today and charged with the crime of perjury, amongst other crimes, including deprivation of civil rights, deprivation of human rights, false arrest, assault, assault to an officer, premeditated assault when intent to harm and plenty more crimes with consecutive counts of eight to ten years just like they did for Sanford and Malcolm X. Count three eight to ten years. Count four eight to ten years. Count five eight to ten years. Count six eight to ten years. Count seven eight to ten years. Count eight eight to ten years. Count nine eight to ten years. Count ten eight to ten years, count eleven, eight to ten years, count twelve, eight to ten years, count thirteen, eight. You are witnessing a rebel network. But former officer Dustin Boone's charge, deprivation of civil rights, was ruled a mistrial. Did you hear that, people? He just not told us whose side he was on. By saying, but Dustin Boone, that invoked displeasure, y'all. He said, but Dustin Boone, 
that invokes displeasure. He said his was ruled a mistrial for the same charge. The same charge as who, people? The same charge as the dude before him, Stephen Cordy, who got a not guilty on that same exact charge, y'all. See, he letting y'all know. Oh, but Dustin Boone laid up there and got a mistrial for the same charge. He got a problem with that. He letting you know exactly whose side he is on, y'all. You are witnessing a rebel network. Former officer Christopher Myers was acquitted of the same deprivation count, but jurors couldn't agree on whether he destroyed evidence. That charge, too, was ruled a mistrial. Hold up, y'all. They couldn't agree on destruction of evidence when his face is as clear as day on the screen before it turned black, y'all. Ain't that face the face that we saw right before the screen went black? Yep, that's that evil grin, y'all. That's the evil grin right there, but they just couldn't do it, y'all. They couldn't say that he destructed evidence, huh? Even though we looking at the cell phone right there, y'all. We looking at the cell phone right there, y'all. And remember one thing, nobody was charged with assault to an officer. Not even obstruction of justice. Look what they put. Destruction of evidence. A quick light charge. But you know him, he had to out blue the real blue. Just like black people all always do we gotta out out golf the golfers we out sports the sportsmen we out preach the preachers god damn it we keep it too real don't it but i know how you think it's somebody out there right now saying man if that was a white officer you know the same thing probably would have happened you know he just happened to be a black officer and he was in a wrong situation well guess what this bud's for you and notably, he did have a partner that night as well, who is white and also undercover. They were not together at the time, but the partner also took the stand and testified that he too was arrested that night as a potential protester, but he was arrested by black officers and he claimed it was a completely textbook arrest. He was not injured in any single way. Did you hear that? A textbook arrest. He out blew the blue, huh? A textbook arrest. Not a hair on his head was home, people. Let's continue. Paul's friends say the trial, with evidence from text messages and video, the night he was arrested, sparked racial tensions in the community. Now, what Mr. Charlie purposefully left out was that them text messages was pre-beat down, and they revealed that officers intended on beating up black protesters. But hey, don't take my word for it. The officers themselves had exchanged some text messages prior to the protest even starting, indicating that they wanted to beat up protesters, essentially. That's what some of the text messages, according to the prosecutors, indicate. Now, did y'all hear Susan, the propagandist, sitting up there talking about the text messages indicate? No, the text messages don't indicate nothing. Instead, they show the intentions of these officers talking about they going to beat up black protesters, people. Yeah, she acting like she don't know what the word is talking about. To beat up. And the only reason Mr. Charlie first brought it up was so he can have an excuse as to why the jury was all white people. Only one black juror was seated on the case, and Hall's friends say this verdict was anything but just. And today, a jury that was comprised of white, mostly white males and white women made a decision, ignored evidence, and we are, we're left to settle with that. No. No, I don't accept that. Ever. Luther Hall was in court today but did not speak to reporters. Because of the mistrials, prosecutors could refile charges against former officers Myers and Boom. And there's your answer to Mr. Charlie the propagandist. Now you understand why he was displeased earlier, as I suspected. It was because the charges can be refiled, y'all. And clearly, he do not want them charges to be refiled, y'all. In a statement, the Ethical Society of Police says it respects the decision of the jury but strongly disagrees with the verdict. Goes on to say the criminal justice system continues to show African-American victims of police violence do not receive the same level of justice when white police officers are accused of excessive force toward African-American. 
Wow, the ethical society respect a disrespectful verdict as that, y'all, and have the cheek to say black victims. Don't say black victims, say black officers don't receive the same backing as uh white officers when they in the same predicament. How about you say that and keep it the truth? God damn it, talking about black victims and all of that. Keep it 100, God damn it. Say black officers. Y'all don't get that same backing, but you still got a total line, huh? You got to soften it up talking about not just no damn violence or excessive force either. That's what he said, y'all. It's murder, beating people half to death. But matter of fact, y'all, who is the ethical society? Check this out. Who is the ethical society? There's an interesting kind of component to this. There are two unions that represent officers in the city of St. Louis. One represents a lot of the officers and one represents particularly the black officers. But y'all, anybody else notice the silence of the blue line? Where is Blue Lives Matter? Where's the police chief, y'all? Where's everybody? Everybody should be locked in arms. Shouldn't they be doing a press conference? The chief and everybody standing all together? Where they locked in arms going against this vicious attack against a blue line officer? Hell nah. They not standing behind him. And it's because he's black. All it take is one click, y'all. One click to find out that the very existence of the ethical society is based on racism. Racism within the community and within the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, people. Yet these people just now say that they find it odd. Matter of fact, I think they said they were shocked at the silence of blue lives matter and the blue line why are you shocked this is the same thing they've been doing since the founding of your group itself people think about why your group was founded why would they have to have two police unions y'all that's because you are not they blue black blue is not true blue true blue is white blue not black blue people and that's why people like him people like this vernon type right here luther hall always going to end up in situations like this, y'all. What ensued was one of the most spectacular ass whoopings ever witnessed in the Atlantic Northeast. Viewer discretion is advised. He was taken to the ground. He was arrested and in the process, pretty severely beaten and injured. He had significant injuries to his face, to his body, and he's had residual impacts from those injuries to this day. Some plates in his neck and near his shoulders. He's had pancreatitis, can still have some difficulties eating from all of this. The propaganda tactics seen today can be used on any person choosing to keep it anything but black. Once again, y'all holla at me. When keeping it real goes wrong.